What's your view on hunting? Um, so you really hate poachers. I really hate poachers. How do they operate? Who are they? What are they up to? What do they do? Poachers to me are the people that are going in and annihilating wildlife for profit without any, you know, the people that are going in and, and, and machine gunning an elephant to take its tusks. Yeah. The people that are sneaking into protected areas in Africa and shooting rhinos so that they can cut off their horns before the animal's even dead while its baby is beside it. Yeah. So, and, and, and the, there's a difference between a poacher and a hunter. I'm a hunter. JJ's a hunter. I, I work with an organization called Vet Paw in Africa, and they use United States veterans who have come back, post 9 11 veterans who have come back from the war and have these skills. And they've been using these guys to protect the last black rhinos, white rhinos, elephants. And so we've, I've gotten to see this play out on a private reserve in Africa where these incredible people have decided to protect zebras, wildebeest, all types of impala, giraffes, several herds of elephants, white rhinos, black rhinos. All of this stuff is protected. And what's interesting is it's a hunting preserve. And so it's been very interesting and challenging sharing my work there with the public because, for instance, I went to a very high profile photographer recently and I said, you have to get over here and see this. It's, it's amazing what these people have done. It's this, this reserve called Buffalo Kloof and they've, you know, this, this rescued families of elephants and they have, you can see a black rhino every day if you want to. This is, this is all, they're critically endangered. And it's because of the work that VetPaw does protecting these animals from poachers. But what people don't understand is that hunting happens all the time on the reserve, not for the elephants and the rhinos. Those are, those are special and they will never be hunted there. But things like an impala, things like an anyala, a wildebeest, a zebra, there aren't as many predators as there used to be. So if you leave those animals unhunted, you know, without the wolf to chase the herd, to thin off the ones that are old and dying or sick, well, then you just have animals that are old and dying and sick walking around suffering. Mm -hmm. And so on reserves like this, they hunt and they take the old ones and they use the funding from hunting. No one's gonna pay you $30,000 to take a picture of a buffalo, but they'll pay you $30,000 to hunt a buffalo. Mm -hmm. And so these reserves responsibly and ethically on foot can go hunting and manage. And again, if they, if they were hunting rhinos or if they were hunting elephants, I'd be out in a second. They're hunting non-endangered species. And They're hunting non-endangered species. They're hunting game species. And the, the difference is that a poacher is going to... So those, those are responsible hunters that are ecologists and conservationists, whereas a poacher is someone that will come in and kill recklessly and murder an animal for no reason, for a part to sell. I, I would love to travel together, actually. Um, so um, let's, let's, we'll talk offline. I, yeah. I would love to make that happen if, if you allow me. I'm to. I'm 100% serious, man. I, I have tremendous respect for your work and I've been watching you since the beginning. I would love to do that together. Um, I've been, I've talked to Joe quite a bit about it. I, I really love the idea of eating the meat that I've hunted. Mm -hmm. um, it's mostly what I eat is meat. Not for dietary, I, I don't have any weird constraints on my diet and so on. I just really enjoy eating meat. <laughs> uh, it's really good. <laughs> and uh, there is a part of me that's bothered by factory farming. Yes, sure. That uh, it's very easily accessible meat, but there's something deeply wrong with it. Um, part of the reason I love fishing and eating the, 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 the fish that I catch, it just seems to be um, more ethical, but also a more intimate, deep connection, honest connection with uh, with nature. You get to see the killing of the food that you're consuming versus removing that from the picture, not even thinking about yeah. it, not thinking about that this came from the meat. And um, yeah, I, I, lo I love the idea that I ki you kill, I kill one animal and I eat that animal basically for the whole year. Yeah, an ethically slaughtered animal, whether it's a fish or a deer or whatever else. To me, that's, Oh God! How I'm gonna I'm gonna use the wrong religious term here, but there's a there's a I want I feel like I want to use the word like sacrament, but it's like mm -hmm. there's a there's a there's a, a deeply profound ritual 
And I, and honestly, honestly, if you if you teach a kid to grow a vegetable, you show a kid how to grow a carrot, and the the, the miracle of like, wait, I put a this thing just grew in there, it just appeared because there was sunlight, and it's like, yeah. The the to me, yes, you that when you feel that fish tug on the line, to me, it 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 does something that that awakens a deep primal something, this satisfaction, and yeah. and then when you eat that, you feel you feel good and. And so I think the other thing, like sort of functionally speaking, is that aside from the fact that I think it's one of the original, we were so disconnected, like we should be hunting. We should be gathering, walking more. I mean, look at like what, what we discussed now, like people are like, oh, you gotta get your steps in for the day. And it's like, that never used to be a problem. Um, you know, people are like, well, should, should we be eating animals? And it's like, what do you think we do here on earth? Like. I'm not sure how you got so confused, but Walmart did it to you. Like, I don't know, like what, I, it, living where I've lived and I mean, from 18 to 35, I feel like I've, gr I've grown up, I've lived more outside than I have inside. And I've, it just, to me, like showing people these things, I can see this miraculous wonder in their eyes when they, when they realize that they can reach out into the world and interact with something. And, and so when I hear these like frantic people talking about, you know, whether or not it's right, it's like no, of course it is. Then again, factory farming is is awful, but but I try to stay. I try and walk the line. I'm worried about wild animals. I'm worried about wild ecosystems. The other thing that's sort of important about hunting is that if if people's livelihoods depend on salmon and elk and and ocean fisheries, well, then they'll fight to protect it naturally because it's part of their life, and it's. If everybody's going to Burger King and everybody's getting chicken wrapped in plastic, they forget that the fish are there because they're too busy watching sitcoms. And so then when the inter when the conglomerate comes in and builds a dam, nobody really cares. And then you just end up with a few hippies and signs standing next to the river and it becomes silly. We forget the meaning.